Speech impairment. In some individuals, a speech dysfunction develops not only as a physiological trait, but also as the result of long-standing psychological pressure, humiliation, fear of punishment, or constant criticism during childhood. These factors influence the development of neural networks responsible for speech and heighten anxiety, which in turn can intensify stuttering or other speech patterns. In certain individuals with pronounced compensatory or dominance-oriented fantasies, a speech impairment may temporarily diminish during moments when they experience a heightened sense of internal power, control, or superiority. This is important to consider when building a behavioral profile. During such periods, emotional centers associated with dopamine and norepinephrine surges become more active alongside mechanisms that suppress anxiety. Essentially, the brain shifts into a state of hyperconfidence, pushing aside long-suppressed feelings of weakness. As a result, the speech impairment may soften or disappear briefly because the primary trigger, an internal sense of inadequacy, is momentarily absent. However, when the so-called cooling-off period occurs, a return to a baseline emotional state, the underlying psychological mechanisms regain their influence. Arousal levels decrease, inner tension and self-doubt return, and familiar patterns of self-devaluation re-emerge. In this state, the speech impairment typically reappears because the brain's everyday neurophysiological dynamics resume their usual roles and constraints. This cycle is not viewed as mystical or unusual, but rather as evidence of how deeply insecurity and psychological trauma can become embedded in a person's speech regulation and emotional function.